Well this is rather strange. It looks almost like a colony, not where people are lost. Let's try the shelters. Hello, sorry to wake you up. We are from the Starship Republic, here to check on you. We are in a group of settlers who were headed to a new colony. Most of us are women. There are communities scattered out across the area. Communities. You sound like you want to stay. We do. Most of us want to settle down here. You have to know that the stars are gone. How can you talk about settling down? We have been here for months. It only made sense to start growing some food. We are staying in shelters for now. We will make a report. Communications failure makes it hard to keep in touch. Computer, commence testing protocol, human subjects. Subject 1, biopsy, major organs, skin. Computer, commence testing protocol, subject to pain response. Computer, commence testing protocol, subject 3 electrical voltage response. Approaching planet 4 of the system. Picking up radio signals. There appears to be a civilization. We are in scanning range. Remarkably similar to the United States in the 1950s technologically. Is there any sign of spacecraft on the planet? Yes, Captain. I am reading one alien spacecraft. It is hovering over a populated area. Type and configuration? Anything we are familiar with? I can make out that it is saucer-shaped, unknown configuration. There is one being on board. Somewhat similar to a humanoid but not especially close. Now I am getting indications of some type of transporter beam being used.
Have they spotted us yet? If we can see them they may be able to see us. They appear to be leaving. Where they are headed I can't tell. Helm try to keep them as far away as you can without losing them. Try to avoid being spotted. I want to know where they are going. Captain, I am reading an automated transponder code. It is on the fifth planet which is close by. I don't want to lose the saucer. They may be responsible for the disappearance of the freighter crew. We can send a team by shuttlecraft. They can catch up with later, or we can pick them up. Assemble a team, Lonnie, take pilots and security personnel, anyone and anything that you need. You are in charge. The team will be on its own for a time. Good luck. There is no one on board. Get a status report, including logs. They were working on repairs and were almost done when whatever it was happened. Most systems were turned off while repairs were underway. Only environmental systems are online. We can have the ship up and running in about one half hour. I am going to split our people into two teams. The engineering team will complete the repairs, while you and the other security personnel search for anyone. Search the area. They are Starfleet. We are in luck. Luck has nothing to do with it, human. We were looking for you. Our starship is the USS Republic. We came here in a shuttle craft. I am John Morg, the President's son. This is Betty, one of the Ambassador's assistants. Mr. Moog, what happened here? Where is the crew of this ship? They were taken by horrible beings. We saw them. All grey and ugly with large heads and black eyes. The systems were all shut down. They were not detected until too late. They got everyone, including the ambassador. We hid. According to the log, this is not the original location where you touched down. That is right. One crew member was killed by an animal, and the ship was moved to what we thought was a safer location. Our starship is currently pursuing the craft responsible. We are getting the ship ready, but we don't know where the Republic went. Science officers log. The ship left a thin stream of plasma, like a trail of markers to follow. I have determined that they are headed toward Planet 6. Sir the interference is starting to clear. I have the ship on scanners now. Go to warp. We will catch up with them. Notify the shuttle. Computer, identify unknown species on the exam table. Species is humanoid, with some porcine characteristics. This species is not in our database. When I get my hands on you, what species I am will be the least of your worries. Just so you will know before I bash your head to a pulp, I am a Tellarite ambassador. When Starfleet learns of this you will pay. I assure you. The paralysis drug I gave you will keep you from getting up while I run tests on you and the others. I will get up and bash your head in. It is only a matter of time. Captain the saucer is heading right for us. It is charging weapons. Battle stations. Arm the photon torpedoes. Charge phaser banks.
We must evacuate to the surface. I told you I would get off the table. My physiology is different to that of the humans. Can't you punch harder than that? I need a good massage. You spoiled my fun, Vulcan. I wanted to bash his head in. Nevertheless, I am grateful to you. What ship are you from? We are from the Starship Republic. Your crew has been rescued as well. It is good to have you back at your station Lonnie. What is our status? We need to broadcast to all ships that the people should get back on board. The effect is dissipating. Send out an omnidirectional signal. All ships should leave the planets. I will take the night shift captain. Go get some rest. It's ironic Lena. Our history is full of legends and myths of strange lands appearing and disappearing. The problem has always been hard evidence proving this. Now with all our technology we have been through something similar, and still we lack hard evidence. We have our locks and some prisoners in the brig. Our sensors did not show much, and the prisoners are from Zeta Reticuli in our universe. I wish that solar system had not vanished when we returned to normal space. Was it that solar system that vanished, or was it us? And what happened to those who decided to stay? Perhaps they will go on to create new legends and creation myths in their new universe.